Hey everyone, I'm James. Welcome back to another Make a Model Monday. And today it's not a model I found so much versus an ability to create your own model based on a video I watched this week. RC Life On did a video about lithographs. Now, for those who don't know what a lithograph is, a uh, lithograph is an image or picture transcribed into a material where the thickness of the material is varied so that when light passes through it or over it, it gives the image that or the, it's able to recreate the image that you've passed into it and they've figured out how we can do that with 3d printing because when you print stuff you can obviously vary the thickness of the material which means that you can actually generate actual images on your 3d printed material uh, all that is to say you can actually now use a 3d printer to print a 2d image so I wanted to give it a shot, so I decided I would try printing some off. So the first thing I did was to pick an image of my wife and I from a wedding about a year ago and print that off as a gift for her. Now, this is how that was received. Hey, babe. Made something for you. What is it? Uh, I 3D printed a picture of you and I together. It's a picture from Frankie's wedding. You look like Colonel Sanders. So yeah, I made some mistakes. Um, as you can see in this image, I failed to invert the colors and as a result, the light showed up dark, the dark showed up light. So apparently that makes me look like Colonel Sanders. So I gave it another shot and this was the result. And it genuinely looks like a decent quality black and white picture that was taken. Uh, the pinstripes on my um, dress shirt show up quite nicely and everything's overall clean looking when the lights pass through it properly. So I was showing this to one of my friends, he said, oh, it's too bad you couldn't print this glow in the dark. Well, I do have glow in the dark filament, so I printed it in the green glow in the dark. And it looks nice when the regular lights pass through it, but what's even cooler is that it worked. Here's a, as good a picture as I could take of it glowing in the dark, and you can see the image comes through nice and clean. Um, I mean, as well as you can tell with this image because it's hard to take a picture of something in pitch black, but it works. The luminescence makes the picture pop on it. So then I started thinking to myself, what else can I take and use this to turn into a lithograph that would turn out really nice? And I decided what I wanted to try and do is print something that could be like a lampshade for a nightlight. And since I love video games, I went and found an almost panoramic look at some of the levels in one of the newer Super Mario Brothers games, fed them into the software and told it to make a 360 degree lithograph versus the 90 degree ones that I had already printed. And I'm going to switch to the overhead camera here so I can show you what the result of that was. So this is the print that I did. I printed this in a nice clean orange PLA from spool.ca. Um, and what we're going to need is to pass some light through it. So I'm just going to use my cell phone because it seems to give the best amount of light diffusion that we can try and make this work with. And uh, I'm going to do, hopefully, yeah, there we go. Now, hopefully the detail level in this is showing up really nice in the camera because it turned out really really good um the detail and the question marks and even the bricks turned out absolutely perfect uh, i'm just going to cast this down a little bit so the light's more on the bottom rolling it across you can see all the question marks there's a one up or a red mushroom um there's a toad riding a yoshi there's Luigi riding a Yoshi and Mario riding a Yoshi and there's a flying toad and there's a Goomba and there's pipes and there's detail in the background and the clouds and a piranha plant. Yeah, it's just everything came out really, really nice. Um, now, if you're going to try this at home, keep in mind that if you're going to use it as a nightlight shade, you either want to use something like ABS if you're using a traditional nightlight or if you print in PLA, you're probably going to want to uh, attach it to something like an LED nightlight that isn't going to get particularly warm because you don't want the plastic to flex or soften over time. But yeah, there's my little homemade nightlight lampshade. So if you guys want to see it once it's finished, let me know. Uh, I can upload pictures or a short video to show how I attached it. 
And yeah, that is a quick little Make a Model Monday. I've gone ahead and linked the video uh, that led me to this below so you guys can give it a shot. If you do, uh, toss me links either on here or on Twitter to show me what you've modeled off. Um, I'd love to see if you guys can get more creative than this. I'm sure somebody else has done a this type of thing before, but yeah, I'm just overall thrilled with the way this turned out. So if you're new here, subscribe and click the bell. I'd love it if you stuck around. If you got something you want me to print on a future episode of Make a Model Monday, toss it in the comments below. And if you did like this video, go ahead and toss me a thumbs up to let me know. And I'll see you guys next Monday, and until then, stay creative.